Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Haversack Hill. Significantly more wealthy than it was when we last left it. Unfortunately, this is not the first attempt at recording this episode. It is, in fact, the second. The first attempt ended rather abruptly to a very, very dissatisfying bug. You know what? It's probably going to be easier for me to show the shenanigans rather than to describe them. So uh, hopefully I will be able to include some of the footage from that attempt here. All right, we've got the... Something. Hello? Oh, hello? What? Um. Oh dear. Finish choosing? Okay, I, 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 at least it didn't break the game. That was unfortunate, though. All right. Uh, we've got... Apparently, I cannot just click on things anymore. As well, sleep to an enemy. We've got the... Assassin's Dagger, a legendary, on kill, non-summon, permanent plus one damage. I would have been nice to have done at the beginning of the run. But at this point, no use to me. I mean, I could sell it, but that's about all I could do with it. Uh, it's going to be locked. I am actually somewhat concerned about my health at this this stage. And you've got spikes. Of course you've got spikes. Oh, no. Can I not? Apparently, I can't. You. Um. Oh, no. Uh, we seem to be in a bit of a problem. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do a thing. Hopefully there's an autosave and I can just close the game and open the game back up and it'll be before this back. Maybe. If not, it might be a case that it's just going to take us out because I, I can't do any I can click on view card but I cannot actually activate I can open the pouch but I can't use item or use item max time stop yeah it, it seems utterly confused it doesn't know what's going on oh dear all right let's see if this works now, assuming that I was able to uh, splice in some of that, and depending on how much of I spliced, all I can gauge from what actually happened is the left-click functionality stopped working. Not the left-click on my mouse. My mouse was still working. It worked outside of the application, and I could right-click on things, and I could left-click on things. It just wouldn't do anything. I couldn't right-click and use item. It, it seems that whatever... The, uh, the the function within the game that is attached to using an item, that just stopped. Which put a rather sudden halt to our progress, which was really, really unfortunate because we were quite close to the end of that run and I felt we were in a pretty good, uh, good position to perhaps win our first win with Pocket, our first run with Pocket. But not one to let uh, a little bit of bad luck slow us down. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into... A new run. However, I am noticing that there are a couple of people now wanting to talk to us. So, uh, hi. Well, you did it. All five of you made it further than I ever did. The dungeon keeps expanding downwards. We have to find the source of this chaos before it spreads further. My time has passed. It's up to you all now. I believe in you all, and especially you, Purse. Reach the deeper steps. Cure this infection. You can save us all. Uh, well, I mean, I would like to, but uh, I've got one more thing I need to do before then. I am committed to taking purse out, uh, sorry, uh, pocket out for a proper run before then. Hiya, pocket. Hey, purse. I'm still training to beat you. It's been nice relaxing up here for a bit, but I'm ready to cause some havoc with my friends. Let's keep it up, purse. Uh, we will definitely try to do that. All right, well, let's go ahead and go on another adventure. I'm not sure if the tutorial... Um, like pop-ups will still happen because technically I've not completed a run with Pocket. I don't know if it is just the first time you encounter something, so I might need to uh, explain a bit of that as we go. But let's grab Pocket. We'll go on a standard run where we will hopefully get 
a golden shell. Right, let's go adventuring. Now then, uh, what you carry says a lot about you. Indeed it does. Uh, you know, well, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to decide on a friend to bring with us. We can take BB, who is a damage-dealing friend. Your adopted sister. She uses your old shell. Oh, uh, the friend will have one energy each turn, and on use, will deal eight damage. We've also got Coco, add seven block. Uh, each turn plus one energy to pocket. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed, actually. And finally, we've got Stinky. He smells bad, but he means well. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of poison, but at the same time, uh, maybe not. Summoning Stone. Each combat, the above pet is summoned. Now, that one is quite a useful one. Uh, I think... Hmm. I think we're going to bring Coco. We're going to bring Coco because that should mean I don't need to bring a shield. Since Coco can give us seven block, and this gives us seven block, and it's the same cost, so I feel that's pretty solid. Also, Coco gives energy to Pocket, which is going to be super, super useful. Right then, Matthew, what else have you got? Would we like a rare item, a relic, an item? A uh, rare item, I think. Let's see what you've got for us. You've given us the Guardian Band. On take damage, adds two haste to self. Pretty solid item, honestly. All right, let's get out there then and see what havoc we can get up to. Uh, since it is pocket, I think going the Bramble route makes the most sense for us. Now, let's see what the dungeon has to offer this time. Uh, who are we going to be fighting? We're going to be fighting... Uh, is that King Ferret? I think. I'm not sure that is. Uh, right, let's have a look here. We've got a Cursed Crown. We've got a couple of other odds and sods. You know what? Sure. We may as well spin. I will take a sip of tea while it does. Alright, we picked up a huge revive potion. Two uses must be placed on a defeated pet. On use revives the pet with 100% health. When out of uses, destroyed. It is a rare item. We might actually sell that. Because defeated pets don't stay defeated, I found out in the first one. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a bunch of uh, knowledge that I have that uh, it won't be represented by the tutorials telling me. But uh, Quills. Here, yeah, these are things that we can actually add into each... Uh, of our friends has their own inventory uh, when attacked adds one spikes to self now that will be very very nice okay yeah I will take that uh, I could go with the luck ring instead of the guardian band mm, I would honestly like the luck ring instead of the guardian band but uh, since they're both rare I think we're gonna be keeping them All right there we go Coco has emerged Coco please use some of your energy to give yourself some shields that will be a decent amount. There we go. We'll go with two of them. I am then going to gobble down this food, and I am going to start walloping this scallywag over here. There we are. And again, keep it up. There we go. Scallywag walloped. Now, unlike many of uh, of the allies that we have with uh, Sasha, for example, with the, the loot, or rather with the charm effect, the frontmost pet will be attacked. So, Coco over here is our tank, for better or worse. Uh, you're going to take a little bit of damage here, Coco. Sorry about that, mate. Uh, let's get you a little bit more protected. Actually, we didn't even need that. Right, let's go ahead and expand out the bag in much the same way we always do. We'll slide this down there. Right, we have got a dagger. We've also got the moth bomb. On kill, replaced with a new moth bomb. On use, deals one damage. Destroyed. Each turn, plus four damage this combat. I mean, might not be bad to bring along. Maybe we'll get the specific relic that makes that stupidly powerful. Uh, also, we've got a dagger, which if I've only got one point of damage to use, it makes more sense to use that. Uh, we do still need this for a run, so I guess we'll bring that along with. And that is all we can bring, realistically speaking. Right, we've got some health over here. I don't know if this would affect our pets. Let's hope it does. Uh, for now, though, let's just get into another fight. We've got a hermit crab. Ah, oh, that's particularly nasty for Pocket to have to fight since she was adopted by hermit crabs. My goodness. 
Uh, either way, let's get a bit of shielding going with you. Uh, we are then going to grab some food. Gonna get a stab on you. And then we're gonna follow up with just regular sword attacks, I think. Uh, well, actually, we didn't even realistically need the stab. There we go, actually worked out quite well for us. Moth Bomb is going to continue gaining more power. Whether we're going to need it or not, I don't know. Right, let's get some poison going there as well. And that is pretty much going to be it for this one. There we go. Nice new level up. Uh, we will take some spaces to the side this time. There we are. Now, here we go. Uh, pet gains conductive and each turn adds one block. Yes, let's grab that one. Uh, we've got a apprentice staff, which will give us mana on the first use. We've got some boots, which would be nice, especially if we place the boots here, because they'll be able to get uh, the, the maximum height there. Uh, to get the armor, though, I'm going to need two spaces. Mm, I guess I could put that up there. Doesn't I don't really need uh, any particular... Uh, positioning with items. It would actually be better though if I did that, I feel. While a little bit of extra damage on the Moth Bomb would be nice, I don't think it's really going to be that useful here. Uh, can't take any more items, so this will have to do. But there we go, I think that's a, a decent build up there. I do want to get a way for Coco to heal. There are ways for your pets to heal, but it comes down to items. Really? You heard what I said last time? How mean cruel even uh right let's go ahead and get a little bit of poison on the go then there we go getting those spikes built up i like it let's get some more protection going and yeah honestly this is probably the way we're going to do it for now coco is just going to uh slowly gain more and more spikes and that is going to kill our opponents uh i will instead aim for you there we go. And there we are. That was actually really, really good. That went very, very well indeed. Uh, you know what? Let's take that one away and instead build out in this direction. This way we've got room for gloves. Right. What do we got here? We've got the scrunchy. When any pet is summoned, adds one haste to self. We've got the skipping stone. Pet gains on summon, add three block. Okay, not too bad. Uh, we've also got the magic treat on kill adds one mana to the connected mana network now that one wouldn't be so good for Coco because Coco doesn't do damage this club however very very nice uh, on use deals nine damage and adds three weak to enemies I definitely think that's one that we're gonna take so we're going to pop that one up here as well in particular so that we can get the maximal adjacency for our weapons as far as other items, I can take two more items. I guess the skipping stone adds a three block on summon, and I guess grab this one, pop that one in there as well. Sure, that's not going to be a terrible one. Got a blue fin fish down here. Not really anything for us at the moment, though, I don't think. Right, let's go and see about this elite battle. We're up against the Rat King. Shouldn't be a terrible fight, this one. Let's start wailing on you. There we go. You're already going to uh, split up this turn. Pop. Now, you're going to block this turn. Uh, I actually want to apply poison. I would like Coco to protect. And then we will start doing damage to the small rat wolf. And all the while, our moth bomb is going to be continuing to gain power. Uh, we could follow up with a little bit more poison over there. Uh, we need to make sure that you've got at least eight protection. Hit the rat wolf again. There we are. Right, you've got poison sickness, so that's not going to be something we need to worry about. And honestly, we don't need to worry about the damage output from you either. Uh, though that being said, I, I mean, I guess I can just go ahead and attack here. You can use your own power. The pets themselves generate power. Though in Coco's 
uh, situation. Coco doesn't generate power for themselves, generate energy, that is. It costs one energy for them to use their ability, but they give their energy to Pocket. I can use Pocket's energy on, on a pet. If a pet doesn't have enough energy to activate its abilities, it'll draw the energy from Pocket instead. So it still works out the same way, but uh, Coco is actually a little bit more flexible since I, the, the energy can be used in two different ways rather than only on the, the uh, pet's ability themselves. Uh, let's uh, wallop you, and then we'll get Coco to power up a little bit. Right, we're up to 22 damage on the Moth Bomb. There we go. I think we're just going to use this. Pop. There we are. And unfortunately, it doesn't have any kind of permanence going on there, which is a shame. It would be quite cool if that were the case, but there we are. Right, we've got some proper mana this time, so we can leave this one behind. Aha, there we go, Kibble. When combat ends, heals 1 HP. Let's pop that in there. We've also got the Bowtie Collar. Pet gains on kill, non-summon, plus 1 gold. Not really useful for us, I'm going to be honest, but it might still be one of the better things for us to pick up. Uh, I don't really see anything else super great, and we can always just hold this for another pet in the future. And uh, obviously, again, Luck Ring is a big thing for us. Right, moving on to the next area. That was a fairly uh, fairly calm first floor. Oh. Okay, we've got a new friend. We've got an elite battle after finding that new friend. Oh, the possum. Uh, we shall pray for him. You kneel to pray. Nobody has ever done anything nice for me. I swear, we've... we've uh, the first time I saw this event, I must have had it like five or six times that he was actually dead. But uh, ever since I've been doing the... Uh, the the series here, the vast majority of them have been the possum being alive. <laughs> it's really, really bizarre. Uh, pet gains on summon as one dodged herself. Oh, that's actually very nice for a tank. Very, very nice indeed. All right, let's go and find ourselves a new pet. Hello. Okay, we can pick Lenny. Better than what he was rolling before. Uh, okay, a mana stone pet. On you steals 8 damage and adds 1 mana to the connected mana network. But it requires 1 mana to activate. Interesting. You are a mana stone though as well, which is quite an interesting one. Uh, oh no, it, it costs 1 energy. So it costs 1 energy to activate, but it requires 1 energy to summon. But then you can basically charge up a... Uh, uh, a mana network with that. We've got Dally over here. White bread, mayo, extra onions, dirt. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, on use, friendlies in front get six block. Ooh, so they together they would be double tank. Now you can only have three pets active at a time, but you can have more than three pets with you. Got Big Dinky over here. You rang. On use, that's eight block. We've got all of the uh, all of the blocking pets here which is kind of kind of bizarre uh i think we'll bring lenny as lenny actually deals damage and so would benefit from the uh kill abilities it's just a shame that we're gonna have lenny here but i'm not going to have a uh, mana stone for them unless i sacrifice one of my weapons which i really would rather not do uh Guess the wooden sword as, as much as it would be useful for us. That being said, you know what? No, we will bring Lenny along. But I'm just going to. Lenny is themselves a mana stone, so that should work for now. Until we can get a little bit more bag space, which will be very soon, and uh, I want to pass that on to, to Parcel. Right, let's get into this elite battle. Okay, we've got the Mouse Ruffian, and we've got the Robin. Now, Mouse Ruffian is going to deal out quite a decent bit of damage here. We're going to have to use one mana to summon Lenny. Wow. Okay. Oh, right. You're a dung beetle. I get it. <laughs> you're rolling mana stones now. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, activating you. Yeah, it just takes one energy for eight damage. It's a pretty solid exchange, honestly. Uh, you've already got six but I would like to have a little bit more. Let's get you protected. Now, Lenny actually generates one energy each turn for themselves. So I get to do damage without having to use Pocket's energy here, which is uh, one of the nice things about this. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Then we're going to follow up with a little bit of extra damage. Uh, I could just remove you. Sure, let's just remove you. There we go. That will be a solid first turn. I really, really want to see Coco fully healed. That is a big goal of mine. Right, there we go. Let's get Coco nice and safe. Now, you're going to get more and more powerful over time. So, using the poison is going to be an a important one. There we go. All right, eight and seven. Not great for us. That'll do, but I can't afford to do any more damage, sadly. I kind of just need to let your rage tick down. Rage will add two damage when attacking. You'll take one poison damage. You'll also take damage from attacking Coco. I want to see how that works out. and I could just let the Moth Bomb slowly build up its charge. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. That being said, I could have Lenny do a little bit of damage every turn whilst uh, I just keep buffing up Coco's uh, Coco shielding using Pocket's energy. That's actually not a bad choice. There we go. Let's see what you can do. Now, is the Moth Bomb in a position to kill? Yes, it is. There we are. Nice and easy. All right, in terms of the revive potion here can be placed on the defeated pet. No, we've got the huge revive potion. There's no reason to take that one. It's a common anyway. Uh, that being said, this is a ray and I'm, I'm quite tempted to sell. I think that's all fine. Nothing there that we particularly want, sadly. Right, another time that we've got a breakthrough. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and attack straight away. Got 10 damage on this. There we go, and uh, we can finish you off fairly comfortably. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have moved around Coco's inventory. That's rather silly that I hadn't already done that. But I definitely need you to be quite heavily protected there. And there we go. You're now dodging. That's fine. And you're a little bit weaker this turn. There we go. I actually should have been using the weak against the uh, the ruffian who had all of the rage. That would have made a lot of sense because my the weak would have scaled a lot faster. No, oh, excuse me. I hope I remember to cut that sneeze out. Right, let's get the last little bit of damage dealt there and we get our level up. Okay, let's continue to expand the bag out this way. As you can see, Pocket's bag is a lot smaller. A lot smaller than the others. Uh, right, we can shimmy some things around at this point, I think. I would like another pair of shoes, as both of these shoes at least have one tile that is uh, at the top, and I can also grab the hat as well. There we go. Right, I would like to move the bow tie collar. Uh, we'll give that down here to Lenny. I would also like to take, let's see, any pet is summoned, on summon self, when attacked, on summon, conductive each turn. You know what? That's the only item that we what, that we uh, realistically wanted to move, so that's fine. Uh, one other thing I could do is, just because I like to, I'd like to keep the pets together. Uh, we do have the stone eye on summon, Add five block to pocket. I, I mean, sure, we'll take it. I can't see any reason not to. Uh, though we do have the golden shiv here. Can be used one time each turn. Uh, deals two damage on kill non-summon plus two gold. I mean, it is nice. However, I've already got so many rare items I want to sell. What I wouldn't give for a pouch right now. <laughs> or a shop. A pouch or a shop. Either one would do. Right. You're almost protected enough. There we are. Let's get you involved in this fight straight away. Wallop them. And there we go. Already down. Beautiful. Now, I wonder how this will work. If I have that over uh, Lenny or Coco, would it mean I couldn't use them? I, I would assume so. There we are. Just do a little bit of extra damage. 
should be fine. You're going to heal, but that's okay. We'll finish you off with this attack. And, well, yes, of course we want to uh, protect you there as well. There we go. And at this point, it's a nice, easy win for us. Okay, we've got canned food. Pet gains on summon, heals 2 HP. We've also got the bow tie collar. On kill, non-summon, gain gold. We definitely want to give that to Lenny. We kind of want to set Lenny up as a killer of enemies. Uh, so we want uh, as many uh, on-kill products or things that increase Lenny's damage as we can possibly get. Now, I don't think we want any of the other items that are here. No. Okay, there we are. Ah, my lord. Thank goodness, a shop. Right, I would very much like to share a couple of items. I can't imagine Pocket's going to be taking damage, so we're not going to need that. I very much doubt we're going to need the Revive Potion either. Uh, do you have anything particularly nice in here? You do have a Cleansing Rag, which would remove poison from us, which might be worth it. Hmm. Cost 20, though. Uh... We've also got the bowlers, as one sleep to an enemy, on use destroyed. Not really what we would want. I think we might take the cleansing rag. It's an early pickup. We're not going to get as much use out of it, but it gives us, well, you know what, we'll, we'll have a look around. We don't need to make that choice yet, but I am strongly considering it. It's a, a very nice item to have early on. Okay, get a rare item of the same type. Hmm. That might be a solid option. It would be a rarer armor. I mean, I'd be okay with that. Uh, helmet armor? Sure, okay. Get a rare item of the same type. Let's see what we get. Uh, we've got the iron helmet. Adjacent armor gets plus one block. If this is not in the top row, item is disabled. Each turn adds two block. Oh. Well, I mean, that's... Patently worse. However, it does everything that it's going to do from being down here. So I guess it's okay in that regard. Kind of sucks that we we uh, lost that item. But oh well. I guess I'll live. All right, let's uh, shimmy these around now so we can keep our pets together. At least now the bronze breastplate is contacting everything. Still, that was a downgrade in my opinion. That was not the upgrade I was hoping it would be. Alright, let's go and say hello to the elite battle here. You're going to try and steal some gold. I really would rather you didn't. So, uh, we're going to need you to tank a lot of damage here. It's quite nice though, because you're going to get hit several times. I know that sounds bad. But each time you're going to get more spikes, which is going to be very nice. All right, let's uh, go ahead and attack there. We'll follow up with a club attack. There we go. Now you're going to do nothing at all, but you are just going to make, make them stronger. There we go. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed, actually. All right, let's take you out. And now we're going to follow up with a little bit more protection again. Going to remove all of your potential damage output. Uh, you would take one point of damage if I don't give you a heal. But I'm not going to. And the reason for that is that uh, you're only going to take one damage and you'll heal that afterwards. Yep. You've now got so many spikes, this is actually quite glorious. Right, now though we do need to make sure that you're protected. There we are. Actually, I could probably have gotten away with just doing it once, Think uh, remembering the club. I should have considered that, but oh well. Alright, there we go. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt Coco. And it makes sense for us to try and take you out with Lenny. We'll get two gold there. There we go, very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, we're lucky. We've got a yellow rose. We've also got bone bomb. When defeated, deals 10 damage to all enemies. Makes sense to give that to our tank. 
Uh, it also makes sense to give the kibble to our tank. Have we got anything I don't want to have on our tank? Not really. Um, I mean, that one doesn't matter as much on our tank, since it doesn't benefit the tank itself. Coco doesn't gain any benefit from having that. And when attacked, get spikes each turn, adds one block, which is very good for Coco because it adds block on uh, their, their personal block, gets the uh, bonus there. On summon, gain three block, that makes sense. On summon, gain dodge. You're the only one that's likely to be defeated. So this all works, and you heal when you get summoned. Yeah, I think that's a pretty solid one. Right, we've got a sleeping bag. On use, adds one sleep to all enemies, disabled for two combats. It's a huge item, though. Wow. But it is so valuable. Hmm. What could I drop for that? What would I want to drop for that? This is becoming much more awkward to keep. But keep it, I must. Keep it, I must. Uh, we're going to move some things around. Like so. Because I can now use this based on Lenny's mana generation. I'm sorry, I've had to split Lenny and and uh, and Coco. Very sad about that one. Uh, yeah, I could bring Coco over here, but I wouldn't be able to auto summon Coco if I did that. So for now, that's just gonna have to be the way it is. But that is that is excellent for us. It would be better if we had a damage dealing staff or something which could apply a benefit to our pets, though. I know I'm passing up a yellow rose, but it seems to make more sense to grab the the wand there for our personal healing. All right. Well, let's go and see what we've got over here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me see what's in that shop first. Okay, quite a lot of things going on here. Uh, very well. Let's summon you, and then I would like to use some regen on myself. Then I would like to attack. And we are going to need a fair old bit of... Well, first, I'm going to just take away all of your ability to retaliate. I'm going to do a dagger attack there. Whether or not I'm going to be able to stop you, I might be able to next turn. We'll see. That is some amazing spike buildup, though. Absolutely fantastic. Right. If we do 10 damage here, and then Lenny attacks it will put you at the point where you're going to die due to poison sickness, which is the main thing. Now, Coco needs a bit more armor. And a bit more again, frankly. And then we're going to use the wand to get a little bit more regen on us. Okay, not too bad. We don't really need the regen. But uh, when it comes to regen, I I'm going to stop doing it in this battle, but it's one of these things that it's better to build it up early and have it at extremely high levels later than to start using it when you suddenly realize, oh, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. I'm in danger. That That's already too late. Okay. Oh, I should have used Lenny. Ah, oh, that was very silly of me. What the heck is that? A pet bed. Uh, pet gains on summon. Adds one sleep to enemy. Um, I, okay. Adds one mana to the connected mana network. Plus one to the energy cost this turn. That's definitely not something useful for us. As one slow to enemy. <sighs> no, we can't take it. But can I pop? I can. Okay. When you get summoned, you can add one sleep to enemies. That's that's actually pretty amazing. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with that one. Uh, adds block equal to 100% of your current poison. On use, adds zero block and removes 100% of poison from self. This is an amazing item for one energy i can remove all of my poison and i do damage to my enemy also that was not in the right place that should have been over there <laughs> that was very silly of me um i think i'd say goodbye to the luck ring i know i know but i have to 
there, there's only so much you can do before you have to just uh, admit that this is the best play. Uh, that said, what I could do here is just shimmy you around so that you are tough. There we go. Everything that needs to be touching the bronze breastplate now is. There we are. That's a much better setup. Right, let's have a look. Uh, two block to armor, two burn to a weapon, three slow to enemy to a weapon, one haste to a structure. Hmm. Ah, the two burn to a weapon is actually pretty nice. I could get the two burn on this dagger, and I could have the slow on the club. That could potentially be a very powerful combination, then. Uh, what do you have for sale? Uh, you've got a star sigil. Man, I want that. Uh, I've also got the little sword. Pet gains plus two damage. I would like this even more. Lenny, you get this. Tonk, there you go. The pet bed, could I even give that to... No. I've got no one who needs it, so... That's a nope. I would love to have the star sigil there, though. Uh... I could sell the moth bomb at this point. Realistically, it's great if you have a very specific relic. And to be fair, that relic has been showing up a lot lately. But, no, I'm going to... We can live without it. I'll take this instead. There we go, that's fine. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get into this fight down here. We may even end up with enough uh, experience from this to level up. It'll be very nice. Right, you've fallen asleep. You do 14 damage now. Oh no, so that's your health. Never mind. <laughs> right. Uh, I could do 9 damage here. Add 2 poison. Womp. And you're still asleep. Will not take any action this whole turn. That's actually quite powerful. Now you can finish them off. And we get a bit of gold. Nice. Very nice, in fact. And he had the uh, haste there. Uh, what is it that, that adds haste? Which item do we have that gives haste? We have a... Oh, well, okay. I guess we're using that for now. Uh, let's drop your out damage output a bit. We're going to need a little bit more protection besides. There we are. Now they're going to do nothing this turn. Oh, well, actually, they're going to add some dodge. Uh, I should have opened up with the other other weapon, realistically. That was my bad there. Uh, we'll give you a little bit of block. There we go. And Lenny can finish him off this turn. Oh, yeah. That actually worked quite well. All right, we've got another bow tie collar. We've also got the fuzzy socks. I think the bow tie collar it has to be. Now, as for the fuzzy socks, that is actually a solid option for us. Um, when any pet is summoned, adds one haste to self. So that's why we had two haste uh, by the end. On summon gains three block. When defeated, does ten damage to an enemy. We could probably do without one of the kibbles in exchange for this. Which I think is the better option there. And the kibbles are nice. It means you would heal tw two points at the beginning of a battle and heal two points at the end of the battle as well. Uh, I wouldn't mind selling the cat's eye ring if I had the choice. But I think that's about everything. Uh, I don't really see any other way to pull some things in. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, we get a little bit of health. Don't need it. Wouldn't mind the gold though. As for items, yeah, let's go ahead and sell the uh, cat eye ring. We don't need that. And that gives us a little bit more room for something more defensible later. That being said, the opening the opening dodge. No, I don't, I really don't think it's it's that useful for this build. It it does give you a little bit more survivability, but uh, marginally. Right, two burn to a weapon, three slow to a weapon. I think that is definitely what we're going to do. We now apply weak and slow with each hit of this, and also 
We add poison and burn. Those two in com combination are fantastically, fantastically powerful. I could add some block to armor, but I think I will avoid that as this is technically clothing and we might eventually be able to get some extra, um, uh, some extra energy from this. That said, I could always add two block to this helmet, thinking about it, since that does have an upgrade slot, sure. That's actually quite nice. Now it's got six block being uh, added. All right. Now, is there anything over here we want to check? We might have something for our pets. No, we don't. Okay. Time to move on then. No need for the health down there. Okay. Not bad at all. Now we've got the finale of the Bramble. And soon, oh so soon, parcel. Right. You're going to use Smoke Plume. Create smoke puffs in spaces in this row. Not something we really want to see happening. Uh, let's go ahead and get you a little bit of extra protection. Let's get Lenny in. And apply some damage. Well, actually, we got to get through its block first. Uh, that said, don't need to worry about the block here. Since that'll still hit. Uh, st since that uh, will still apply the burn and the... Uh, the poison. This will still apply the slow and the weak. Okay, not bad at all first round. And since I can, sure, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll start stacking the regen. Alright. Now then, let's follow up with this. I don't need to have Coco do anything this turn, which is actually very, very nice. Instead, I could use two energy on that, but I would like to continue topping up the poison and the burn, frankly. And we'll have Lenny just attack twice. Yep, I see no problem with that one whatsoever. I could drain Lenny of all of their energy, actually. Uh, no. No, needs, no reason to. I love how you're just... You did nothing but make Coco more dangerous here. Right. We need to continue applying as much damage as we can here. Let's get Lenny to continue attacking. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. Now, if we could get some sort of status effect on Lenny as well, that would be amazing. I'm not even sure we need all of this armor, frankly. We've got Coco as our tank. But in times where Coco wouldn't be able to tank the damage, I can always step in. Which is why having passive block on me is useful. Uh, six damage. Sure, we'll uh, make sure you don't actually do any damage to Coco. Yeah. Right, uh, I guess we'll pop it there. Since that's just going to spread out to the side there. And at this point... Uh, I don't want to attack again. I actually want to let this turn pass. Because then you'll be able to take you out on the next turn. Ah, oh, damn it, you... Took yourself out on uh, on Coco. Much sadness. Oh, well. Uh, but we did get a level up, which is nice. So let's start fleshing out the rest of our pack. Of course you gave me the brutal bombstone. <laughs> After I sold the moth bomb. <laughs> oh, you scoundrel, you. <sighs> this item is heavy. Each turn effects are applied twice. Uh, no use to me. I guess I'll bring this one along because potentially that could build in, especially if I decide to empty my inventory of armor that I don't strictly need. But, oh, that, that sucked. <laughs> that did suck. Not gonna lie. Right. Uh, how much room have I got in my inventory? I've actually got enough room to go and have a look if there's anything else I want to send back. Is there anything else I want to send back? Not really. No. Uh, okay. Well, this is fine. Let's go to parcel. 
Could you be a wonderful individual and take these back for me? Please and thank you. Um... I guess I could do that. The helmet isn't going to get uh, the benefit no matter what I do. Right, we are... Oh, actually, yeah. One, two, three, four. Why is... Is it because of this? How peculiar. Either way, thank you very much, Parcel. I'm going to go and get some... Max HP, please. Oh, heal all pets. Don't need any healing right now, but that's actually quite cool to know. Uh, yeah, for every five open spaces, you gain one extra energy, but it doesn't... I guess it counts the space that it's on. Unless it's counting my pet inventories as well. Huh. Let me just check something. Okay. I had to know. It was important that we find that out. Okay, that still works for us. Right, we're heading down to the Enchanted Swamp. We may even find some more friends. Uh, I've got to get down there for health, but we don't really need it ourselves, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, what have we got here? We've got the Crimson Energy. If there is an item two spaces away, this item is disabled. This is possibly a run where I could use that. Uh, for now, though, I think we're just going to go with the fuzzy socks. All of the fuzzy socks. Thank you very much. We've also got doggy bag. Pet gains plus one block. When an adjacent consumable is used, heals one HP. Not something we need. I could bring along two daggers, but I don't think we want that. I would actually like to shed more items out of my inventory, frankly. Uh, this this one is actually only giving us plus four block. And do we even need it? I would say we probably don't. We'll see, though. Uh, which side? We'll go this way. We chose... Well, oh. Once again, I feel I feel there is something wrong with us fighting hermit crabs. Deeply wrong. I guess we could just go ahead and attack. There we go. Well, that's quite a lot of damage here. Let's bring it down to 15. Bring it down a little bit more. And Lenny can clean up. Alright. Another fuzzy sock. Wow. Oh. I mean, created blessings for free is actually quite nice. Uh, what would I like to discard? We are keeping this. It's just too useful. But do I want this more than the eye? Yeah. Yeah, I feel that's more useful. I very much don't need the left gauntlet, though. The heart ring is more useful to me than the hat. By quite a large margin, actually. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, how much would this gauntlet give us? Also, let's let's move things around so our pets can be together again. I popped the gauntlet there. That's giving me six block. I could shed one of the boot, uh, one of the boots. Yeah. By doing that, I could. Further move these around a bit. Uh, I need that to be all... Actually, thinking about it, I could go there. Um, this gives me... Yeah, it kind of concentrates all of our damage dealing and protective gear in one side. And this is now giving me 9 block instead. So that actually works out a lot better. I have just lost... 10 block, though, passively. Still not terrible.
that point we'd have two extra energy, but obviously we don't want to sacrifice that. Still, keeping the Swamp Buckler makes an awful lot of sense, but a lot of these other items not actually necessary for me. Even the max health isn't strictly necessary for me, but getting the regen would be kind of nice. Uh, especially in combination with the, the wand. But if I did get rid of it, that would free up four extra spaces. Yeah, there's nothing else then that I'd want to get rid of. Until I've got some more backpack space, we're not going to try and refine this build any further. Getting a much better single weapon, especially one with a lot of upgrade points, would allow me to get rid of the two weapons I've got here, possibly for much greater effect. We'll, we'll have to see, though. Uh, but I think that's that's a decent pick there. Okay. Let's continue on our way. We have got the shop. I didn't really want anything from the shop here. There is an item two spaces away. This gets disabled. I could actually put that up there. Technically speaking, one, two. One, two. Would work. Cost me 35, but it would give me a load more energy to play with. And a, lo a load more energy to play with. Okay, that's actually a, a possible choice for us. Alright, okay. Uh, we are going to want to get out Lenny. Lenny, hello. Uh, Lenny has put one of the Scallywags asleep. You've already got... Well, you've almost got enough shielding. I'll give you a little bit more. Uh, we are then going to... Actually, thinking about it, I didn't need to do that because I could have just done this instead. What a silly sausage I am. Uh, you will actually finish them off. So there we go. Got a little bit of extra cash, and I, I can now get the the Crimson Coin. Not bad at all. All things considered. Not bad at all. I think getting Pocket with just loads of, of energy is a really sensible move. I very much disapprove of the, what's about to happen, though, with all of the uh, spikes that are about to be applied. Really not liking that at all. Um, I can actually take you out with Lanny using Pocket's extra energy there. Okay, this is where the passive shield comes in quite handy for us now. However, Lenny would take damage from the spikes, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to pass the turn. Uh, you're just going to build them up, though, aren't you? That is a bit of a problem. I can comfortably take that damage, but Lenny cannot. Uh, unless I were to give Lenny some sort of healing uh, item. No, I don't think that's happening. Okay, there we go. And now you will die on this turn. Uh, again, if Lenny attacked, Lenny would take full damage and there's no reason to. Right, we've got the Wild Buckler. Can be used one time each combat. On use, at 18 block. Right, a solid option. Uh, but nothing here really stands out to me. I guess I could take the Swamp Buckler just for sale. Uh, I guess I could also take the Wild Buckler also for sale. Uh, sure. Okay, finished. And, ooh, let's see what we've got down here. Three damage to a weapon, one poison to a weapon, two burn to a weapon, one haste to a shield. But I'm really not building for that this time. We are not building for that kind of... Uh, for us doing the damage ourselves. Alright, let's see what kind of pets we've got. We've got our adopted sister. Deals damage. We've got Kiki. On use, deals 9 damage. On summon, deals 9 damage. Looks better than when she was a grub. Fair enough. Uh, and Weston. On use, deals 6 damage and adds 3 block. Come on, you animals! You want to live forever! <laughs> I love it. Okay, yeah, we're taking Weston. How can I say no? I can't. That is the answer to that question. I cannot say no. Okay. Uh, that is all we need to do there. Let's have a quick gander. 
I think you getting the the health there makes a lot of sense. I can always move around certain items to make sure that uh, if one of them has taken damage, that they uh, get a little bit back from that. Uh... Honestly, let's go ahead and give you at least one of those, and I'm kind of feeling that whoever I am setting up for this needs to get all of the, the damage output. And you don't do the most damage output. So, instead, no, what we're going to do is we're going to continue focusing on having uh, the the kill blow come from uh, from Lenny. We'll get some more treats for you, though. Soon, I'm sure. Right, let's go and sell off these items. Don't need this. Don't need this. Shimmy that down. Uh, when an adjacent consumable is used, not going to be what we do. Pomp, there we go. If there is an item to tile space oh does it also count diagonals no no sorry i was i was wrong there we are now it's showing this as disabled that works perfectly okay thank you very much right we've got 25 dapper ducats here what are we going to spend them on i don't think i can actually do any of these i could put haste on the shield that's all I... No, I can't even do that. Never mind, then. No upgrades for us. Sad days. All right, let's go and say hello. Uh, you're going to be a problem unless I do a bit of damage. Uh, or I can just put you to sleep. That also works. Let's wallop you once or twice. Let's bring you in. Shim you up. I guess it doesn't really matter where, where you're stood in this queue. There we go, Lenny can finish you off. That's actually really nice because of the extra... The extra turns of damage that we get there. Because they effectively bring one point of energy with them every time. Uh, you're not going to need it. So instead, I will have... Sure, we'll go with uh, Lenny. Lenny is by far the, the stronger attacker here. Now, we want to take you out of this before you get to a point where you can use that ability. So, there we go. And now I just want to make sure that you're hurt enough that you don't bother trying to attack. There we go. And we can pretty much maintain this the whole time. There is no reason why I shouldn't. There we go. Actually, very nice. We should be able to generate huge amounts of uh, currency. Okay, our two burn to an enemy. There we go. Now we are cooking with fire. I think Warmstone should go on West. There we are. Perfect. I literally couldn't go on Lenny. So even more perfect. I deeply approve. Uh, anything here that's great for us to keep? I don't think so. I mean, you know, it's uncommon, but not really what we want. Uh, what was this? We, uh, we brew what we can. Do what we must. Mm, no. I'm good. Thank you very much for the offer, though. Got a load more cash, but again, no no amazing weapons to use to enchant. Right, what are we looking at? Another friend, another anvil. Let's go and see which friend we might have. We have got Stinky. Adds poison, naturally. We've got Jerry. On use, friendlies alongside get two spikes. Ooh. Ooh, that could work really, really well with with uh, Coco. On kill adds four rage to self. Hmm. See, the thing is, I, it's, I would be replacing one of my current uh, pets. But... His fluttering wings lift the pa the party. I wouldn't mind having a extra status effects being applied. I really wouldn't. But the fact that adding spikes 
to Coco. But you cost two to summon? No, wait. No, you cost uh, two to summon, but then one to use. One, 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 one. Hmm. I think it has to be stinky. And the reason why it has to be stinky is because stinky, yeah, it, stinky would be able to hold the warm stone. Uh, mind you, so would Jerry. Each turn, friendlies alongside get one energy, and on use, friendlies alongside get two spikes. You actually make our units quite capable. But yeah, you can't use the warm stone though. I I kind of want to bring Jerry. I feel Jerry would be the the stronger play, but instead we're gonna keep you. There we are. I think it's gonna be stinky, yeah. So that we can apply two poison and two burn each turn. That is gonna scale very aggressively. And if I'm facing down someone who uses spikes, instead I'll bring Western out. So we've got a little bit of tactical flexibility there. I think that works. 